Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. The nerve of you. Wenaya Yahweh Yasharala. And you spell Yasharala incorrect because there's no H on it. But the nerve of you. Here it is. The elder Malcolma, the beloved elder Malcolma. Is going into a lesson, breaking down the Red Dragon and Babylon the Great. And you're on a comment board talking about you disagree with things that are not even pertaining to the lesson that he's going into. This is why the scriptures say, keep thy foot in thy mouth. Let's get that first. Then we'll get this one. The book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thy when thou goest to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Because what you're saying on the comment board, this is what you are thinking. Okay? Your comment is what you're actually thinking, and you're saying it through the words that you put on the comment board. And you're not considering that you're doing evil, that you're coming on a platform of a man of the Most High. And pouring out your ignorance. So that's why I said the nerve of you. Let's go to the book of First Corinthians. Chapter 14. Verse 38, it says, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Let's go into this word ignorant. Strong's G50, Agnaeo, Agnaeo. To be ignorant, not to know, not to understand, unknown, to err or in, to err or sin through mistake, to be wrong. Now, this is Elder um, Malcolm, Malcolm's comment board. And as Yahweh's tents of Judah said, man, they are relentless at pushing the jab. I had to decline in writing at my job. It will be mandatory soon. And he put down a scripture, Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, KJV. And a dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with a remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. He said, edifying lesson, lesson Elder Amakama Shalom. The nerve of you to put, I disagree. It's not, it, it's KJV. It's a capitalized KJV, not KJV. And it's commandments, not commandments. And it's testimony, not, it's, it's testimony with a capital T, not testimony. Explanation mark. Like, wh like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, what are you even talking about? Let's continue. I disagree simply because you're sadly mistaken because Yahweh Shai is an English mistranslation of the Hebrew name Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And every tongue will confess that G, JC is the Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. Read verbatim. Now in the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 11. And oh, by the way, the letter J has always been around. Being the 11th letters of the Paleo ancient Hebrew alphabet called the Lamad, therefore you stand corrected. No, you are incorrect. There's 22 letters in the Hebrew uh, in the Hebrew tongue or the Hebrew alphabet, if you want to say that. Lasha wants Kadash, the holy tongue. It's 22 characters, right? The letter J is not one of them. The letter J came about and was formed in, I want to say, the mid, around the mid 1600s, okay? 
about around 1630, around somewhere around that area. And it's the last letter of the English alphabet. Now, the Lord walked the earth over 2000 years ago. And you're and you're saying that his name is JC. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? And and see it, yeah, the bro C says, so if the letter J was always around, why are you calling yourself Yahweh instead of Judah? You see? The letter J was created in 1524. Um, look it up. Our Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. Deal with it, you silly Christian, right? So yeah, I, I believe I thought it was in the sixteen uh the mid sixteen hundreds, but it could be correct. Um I know it was it was heavily established. You know, I'm pushed in the uh, 1630s, I'll say that, but it may have been created in 1524. Nevertheless, okay, the Lord's name is not JC, okay, it's Yahweh Shai. So, um, even going further down, you know, because uh, I replied back and it says, uh, he said, I disagree, O Israel, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, at the end of the verse, 2 said, Christ at hand, it don't say Yahweh Shai at hand, you see? And he's trying to be technical of going on of what the scripture is, uh, you know, saying, you know, in a verbatim way. And like I uh, message, messaging him back, I said, did the Lord have a Hebrew name or Greek? Right. Did the Lord have a Hebrew name or Greek? OK, because the JC, that's Greek. And is not uh, Christ. Right. Which in the Hebrew is Hamash, uh, Mashiach. A Greek title? And here he goes with his folly. According to the Holy Scriptures, the Lord, the Lord our God and Savior, JC, would have would have us know that. And we do know it. And see, he puts his scripture up, you know, whatever. I'm not even gonna read it, but we do know it. Okay, we do know the name. Let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 4 says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters? In a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? You see, what is his name? Now he keeps putting, you know, the JC, right? But in my sixteen eleven KJ KJV Bible, there is no letter J. All right, there is no letter J. Like I said, it was established, okay, and heavily pushed in the mid 1600s, around the 1630. I think it was 1634 to be exact. All right. So here you go. But see, the scriptures talk about the elect. The elect is going to praise his holy name. Let's get that. All right. The book of, I think it's Sirach chapter 12. All right, let's do it this way. Let's go to the elect. Oh, yeah. It's lock it. So it's Ecclesiastes 17, verse 10. It says, And the elect, and the elect shall praise his holy name. And the holy name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Right? See, Lord in all caps is Yahweh. He is, he to be. He exists. Right? Yahweh Shai, of whom is the Savior and our Deliverer. Their true holy names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So it says, an intellectual praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. And he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. Okay, and that's the point on that. All right. So. The nerve of you to come on Elder Malcolm's comment board and spew all your folly out. Okay? But see, we're in these times of where we, we're not even, you know, I was mentioning, I think I, I replied back twice and I said, you know what? There's no use. Okay? There's no use. So I'm going to do what the scriptures say because I admonished him and he rejected it. So let's get 1 Corinthians uh, 14 verse 38 again. It says, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So since you think you know it all, I'm going to let you be ignorant. Okay. Um, let's get that one scripture I just quoted. 
reject after the second uh, admonition. <clears throat> yep, here we go. The book of Titus chapter 3 verse 10, it says, A man that is a heretic after the first and second admi admonition, reject. Okay? And I admonished you twice. And other brothers have uh, admonished you. And guess what? I reject. I rejected you now. Okay. Talk spewing out all that folly. Revelation twenty two verse eleven. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So we're at the time where we're not going about to be going back and forth with you, Jake's all day on the comic board. You know. Four years ago, yeah, maybe would have been, you know, an all-day ongoing comic board battle, day and night and things like that. But now, and this time we in, we're not, we're not doing it. We're not going through that and doing this with you. you. You think you got it? You think you know it all? You want to call on JC and you think that's your name? Well, well, so be it. Have at it. We're going to see. We're going to see whose name is the Strong Tower and... And we're going to see if you run into the name, JC, see if that be a strong tower and see if that be, uh, uh, you know, uh, your safe zone. OK. You you see if that you see how how that works out for you. But the nerve of you, Jake's to continue to do this. But hey. There must be opposition. There must be there must there must be, you know, people to have these lots to come against the true doctrine. And come against the true names and come against the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.